Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're gonna look back at iter tools at a pretty cool one that I like. It's really simple, it's really clean, it's really precise. So all right, let's just get into it. Helps if I can spell. And if you've been here a while, you know what I'm about to say. This is not a spelling channel. Never will tell you that I'm a speller. I will always tell you the truth, tools. Okay, so iter tools. We are going to look at T. So let's just look at it. Help iter tools. And if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because we have videos coming out all the time and we do one subject, maybe two, but that is absolutely it. So, all right, what T does is it takes an iterable and it automatically defaults to two, but you will then get the quantity of n iterators, iter, iterables in an iterator form wrapped in a tuple. So, all right, so let's look at this. So if I have x, one, two, three, close that out, then z is Enter tools dot t x and three. So now run that. So I have let's see there we go. One, two, three. So if we wanted to look at this, we would do it in this way. For i in x for j in i print j and hang on z there we go so one two three one two three one two three boom I love how small, simple, and concise this is. And of course, if there's a small iterable like this, you could just type your iterable right here. But all right, as always, thanks for watching. Real quick video today. Um, like I said before, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Got videos coming out all the time. Don't want you feeling lost, feeling overwhelmed, or getting behind. And my absolute all-time favorites, any comments, questions, or those video requests. I love them. It helps out the channel. Really keeps me on my toes, and I really appreciate it. So as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.